So, hello and welcome to the next episode of the Self Development with Tactics podcast. And today, um, as you might see in the background, uh, we are talking about um, how to win friends and influence people from Dale Carnegie. Let's look at Dale Carnegie, Dale Carnegie, Carnegie. Um, yes, it's him. I guess, yes. So he was born, do you see this? No, you don't. You might now see it. Yes, there it is. Um, he's born 1888 and died 1955. But that's not the point um, of this video. How to win friends and influence people in a nutshell. And then I went there. So it's from Farnham Street. Yes, that looks good. It's from Farnham Street. Farnham Street, sorry. Um, but I have forgotten to introduce myself. I'm Christopher and I'm a 17-year-old um, graphic design student from Austria. And I'm really, really into self-development and getting more out of your life. And I have to admit that a great friend of mine um, gave me a microphone today so that my uh, video and or podcast will be a little bit more professional, but I, I couldn't get it run. And so I have to admit that I'm really happy that he, he gave it to me, but it's not working and I didn't have the time. I just, you know, was there 10 minutes trying to get it uh, to run, but I was too incompetent, it seems like, or it doesn't work. I don't know. Um, but nevertheless, we are going to talk about how to win friends and influence people, which is the book I read before. Um, I'm now reading Chap, 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 Right Hook from Gary V. And this was a really great book. It was maybe the best book I've ever read in my entire life. Um, but here are the three techniques that were um, noticed, not noticed, announced in a book on um, how to handle people. And the first one is don't criticize, condemn or complain. Um, the thing is, it won't get you anywhere. It just doesn't make any sense. Especially when you're uh, criticizing someone, um, you just bring him or her into a position where he just um, justifies himself and tells you why he or she did what he or she does. And I see there's a little quotation on criticism. Criticism is futile or futile because it puts a person on the defense and usually makes him strive to justify himself. Criticism is dangerous because it wounds a person's prices, precious pride, hurts his sense of importance and arouses resentment. Any fool can criticize, condemn and complain, and most fools do, but it takes character and self-control to be understanding and forgiving. Yeah, that should say everything. And the second point is give honest and sincere appreciation. Um... It just makes people, you know, like you more. If you go up to them and say, yeah, um, your hair looks great today. You know, you can do that. It's, it's nothing to hide from. It's nothing to be uh, ashamed of by doing. And maybe there is some... Um, no. Never mind. So just give honest, that's really important, honest appreciation... Um, because if you're just telling something that's not wrong, um, people can tell, actually. Not always, but um, they probably can tell that you're just, you know, trying to sell them something or trying to um, do just something they, they don't want. They can tell it. So be honest and sincere by your appreciation. And just do it. If you see someone with a nice coat, Tell them. It's great for them and it's great for you. Uh, yeah. And the third 
point is arouse in the other person an eager want, which means um, that which is also part of um, win people to the way you are thinking is that you um, you know you might tell them things so that they uh, um, you know really want what you are wanting and that um, they are actually wanting it so um, you know you can tell them stories um, true stories please and um, yeah sadly enough I've forgotten a lot of things I read and I'm really happy that I'm going through this because it helps me and it hopefully helps you um, but it would be nice if you DM me or comment me on um, YouTube if it helped you, if it was interesting, um, some ideas, what you would like to hear and so on and so on. It's um, you know important for me because I want to bring value to you. Um, but let's move on. Six ways to make people like you. Become genuinely interested in other people. And I precisely nearly precisely, um, know what he was writing in a book. In the book he wrote that um, you should talk less than the other person you're talking with. You should be just um, be interested in the other people and hear what they are saying and listen to them. And not like um, you have to do it, but um, to be genuinely interested in the other person. And they really like it because most of the people just talk about themselves and if there's one po person who speaks about the other one or is interested in the other one um, you know what I'm going to um, they will be surprised and they will probably like you not probably they will be liking you um, the second thing is smile smiling is one of the easiest things you can people um, make uh, to like you or to to you know some sort of compliment people or make them a better day and so on especially in the mornings when you're just heading off to school or heading off to your um, work just smile at people and uh, appreciate them honest and sincerely um, the third one remember that a person's name is that person that a person's name is to, to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. And, um, you know, I just experienced it myself because many teachers at my school, they don't really know any names. And it's just, you don't like that kind of people. You know, you have a name because of a reason so that you can be called by this name. You're not anyone, you are... Lucas, you are. Christopher, you are. I don't know. Linda. Florentine. You know, you have this name because of a certain reason. And um, he was talking in a book about a man who uh, made a game out of, um, you know, knowing every person's name he met. And um, he was very successful by this. And he was very liked because he know everybody's name. It's just something, you know, people like. There are exactly, I think there were two or three words that people um, highly react to. It's their name, the term sex, and um, I think love or something. Something like this. But especially their name. And that's only uh, that's also a reason why it should it should be it is um, you know advisable to to put the person names in an email or in a letter um, of whom you're uh, sending it to. That's quite important. Be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. Um, that's what I meant by ge being generally interested in other people. You might see by now that um, there are a lot of things that um, are duplicates, and but are meant in another way. You have to read. You have to, you have to read the book by um, understanding it uh, correctly, I guess. 
but it's a really good insight into the book. Um, you know, as I said, just listen and don't talk too much. Um, you know, we people are just talking way too much. We should either do as easy as it is or listen. Um, talk in terms of the other person's interests. If you want a person to like you or make something you really want, just talk about the other person's interest. Um, he explained it in um, or by job applications. He told a story about a woman uh, who just had to move, uh, but she was a bankier, so she worked at a bank. Um, and she had to get another job uh, in another city. And she applied to a bank and she she was like, um, not, she, she wasn't like, you know, um, I would really like to, um, to get the job because, um, you know, I want to earn the money or I want this and that. Um, you shouldn't really talk about what you want. You should be talking about what the other persons want. So you should be like, um, I'm willing to work for you because I want to give your company great value or I, I'm i really um, into working hard for your company so that um, your company gets successful and or um, so that you have more leisure time if she's talking to the boss. So just think about the other person's interest and what the other person wants. That's really, really important and um, by using it, it's just great because I tried it um, at my girlfriend actually <laughs> and I was like, um, because I wanted to go to bed, we were talking uh, every day on the evening and I was like, uh, wouldn't you want me to be, you know, awake tomorrow or in a good mood tomorrow and let me go to sleep? And she was like, um, oh yeah. And it's something different than saying, I really want to sleep now. Because then I would just be talking about what I want. And that's totally, you know, she isn't interested in what I'm willing or I'm wanting. You know, no person is really interested in what you are wanting. Make the other person feel important and do it sincerely. Um... The story he then told in the book was um, that a woman had a house with the garden and um, there were always boys who were running through the garden. And these boys destroyed something or just, you know, it isn't nice having people in your garden all the time or your front yard, um, whatever you're having. And she just went to one of the boys who seemed to be uh, a kind of the leader and she went to him and said, you are the leader now and you are the person who, who looks at my garden and um, watches it and um, has to keep people out of the garden, she said. And then the person or this, this little boy felt important because, you know, he had a challenge. He, has, he had to do something for another person which was important to them and so um, he got important. And then, um, you know, he kept, he kept the other boys from um, running through the front yard or the garden. And <coughs> so you can do it in other ways. I'm sorry. <coughs> What's the time? No, wrong. 14 minutes. You know, we are going to talk about the other things what was it like uh, people like you maybe we'll read this one on dealing with people when dealing with people let us remember we are not dealing with creatures of logic we are dealing with creatures of emotion creatures bristling with pre prejudices it's p-r-e-j-u-d-i-c-e-s and motivated by pride and vanity. And for now, I'm I'm really happy that you got into me, into me, not <laughs> into this with me. 
and listen to me. I uh, hopefully I hope that you enjoyed it. And if there's something you're really wanting to say to me, uh, comment on YouTube, DM me on Instagram at self development underscore and uh, WT, and or uh, text me on Twitter it's self tactics and or uh, Tumblr also and Facebook actually would be really nice of you and yeah I hope that you get a great kind of value out of these 15 minutes and yeah thank you very much see you the next time